gonna see Smith here in Hollywood. Um, I'm gonna see Indiana Jones and in the or er, not Temple. Destiny of Diarrhea, Dial of Destiny, Dial of Disaster, something. Uh, I saw it was Professor Brian in uh, Oxnard, California. I thought the movie was okay. But I'm gonna watch it again because I wanna see it at El Capitan because I have some cool merchandise that I can get there. Uh, but like I said, I saw the movie. It's okay. I would say it's consistently decent. Um, I think uh, Indiana Jones and the Temple of the Crystal Skull had better scenes in it, but then it also had worse scenes, so it, you know, there were better parts in Indiana Jones 4, but also worse parts. Uh, I think, uh, for the most part, the CGI and the new one was better, other than when Indiana Jones is on the train, or when he climbs on the train, it's pretty bad. Uh, you know, but other than that, it was better. Uh, seemed like there was less CGI, or if there was, it was better, you know? Mm. So like, the car chases looked all real for the most part. There's a couple of spots where the CGI looked bad, uh, but other than that, it looked good. Uh, okay, it's okay. Um, uh, I mean, I would say I like it better than Indiana Jones because like the ending wasn't like as disappointing as the fourth one that's the main reason I don't like the fourth one or have problems with it is because the ending is kind of disappointing with the aliens that aren't aliens because they're um, whatever interdimensional beings or whatever they were okay there's El Capitan. Uh, I'm gonna hang out here because I bought a ticket for, I think it was like 4.30 or something, 4.40. And it's like 12.40 or 1 right now, okay? See you later, you fabulous audience of Not Disasters. You're the, this is Tennessee Smith and the audience of Awesomeness watching El Capitan. Tennessee Smith here, and this is Tennessee Smith's honest review of Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny. Opening good, they have, uh, oh yeah, by the way, spoilers, I'll probably put a text, but, or word in there, but if you don't, spoilers. Uh, opening good, train, other than bad CGI, there's some bad. Uh, it's kind of hard to follow at one point with the motorcycle part, but that's more of editing than, I guess, uh, hard to follow, bad CGI. So, let's see. Car chase later. Um, so the Crete or what not Italy or in Italy is better. Good. Feels very Indiana Jones. Looks real. I think that whole thing was filmed in real life, other than one CGI scene which looks fake, and I don't like it. Um, so I think the beginning is uh, the best. The opening scene, 1944. Um, you know, that's good. Uh, kind of drags a little bit in the middle and they're just looking or the bad guys are looking for Indiana Jones and the dial or they think they like, they either has it or they think they have it and they're following them and they're in school so that's a little slow could have been done more interesting but um and it kind of felt like um I guess in E4 where Indiana Jones is being followed by the CIA because they're Nazi CIA I guess or Nazi members that are in the CIA that got Indiana Jones paper clipped and I'm not getting this stuff in here really well but I filmed it so I'll show it to you via the film um, yeah so that was okay decent some bad CGI okay ending uh, the new one wasn't that bad Tennessee Smith here back at the college very nice college campus, by the way. And I have just seen Indiana Jones's destiny, his future, his dial of destiny to save the world from time traveling space Nazis. Um, I thought the movie was okay. Uh, I'm gonna give it a C minus on its final. Um, you know, 
the movie was pretty okay. Um, I didn't like, uh, what's her name? Uh, Thief Without a Heart of Gold. Um, I mean, like, she wasn't that great of a character. She wasn't terrible, but, you know, it was kind of a thief without a heart of gold, so what's the point if it's not, she's not a thief with a heart of gold, so it's like, what's the point? And they had a not short round kid that was supposed to be, oh, look, it's short round, but it's not. Short round, that's Latino, and it has a mustache and a unibrow. Uh, so... Yeah, that's about it. Um, C minus. Um, I saw it twice, so pretty okay. It was better than, hey, it's just aliens that aren't aliens, that are interdimensional beings, but they look and act and sound uh, exactly like aliens. So better in that sense. I, I feel like Indiana Jones' last adventure to uh, uh, South America with his crystal skull had better highs, but also had lower lows. Uh, I don't necessarily agree with what they did with Mutt either. Um, and by the way, spoilers, I should put that in the, uh, where that, wherever, so you guys know. Yeah, so I thought it was okay, you know. That's it. Tennessee Smith here, still at the college, or still at the university, and I'm here to talk more about Indiana Jones's future. So I saw into the future. So at the beginning, he was fighting Nazis on a train. Um, that was pretty cool. There were a couple of scenes that were hard to follow when he's on a motorcycle. I think they shot it too close, you know. Uh, so it's kind of hard to follow the action. Um, then there are a couple of scenes when he's on the train where it looks very fake and like the intern CGI's got blindfolded, drunk, and spun around in the chairs and had to do the CGI work. Uh, but other than that, the opening was really good and uh, had some cool fake artifacts or real artifacts. I don't want to spoil too much, but the, the fight scene was pretty cool. Uh, very Indiana Jones, I want to say very Indiana Jones, but Indiana Jones-esque, good, uh, better, the, definitely better action than, uh, what's it called? Uh, Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. I would say throughout too, not just, um, not just uh, the opening, but like the car chase later in the movie was better. Uh, though it was weird seeing a car chase with 1960s cars for Indiana Jones, but still good car or car chase. Very Indiana Jones. Uh, there was one scene in that car chase where Indiana Jones jumped from one tuk-tuk to another. It looked bad CGI, but other than that, can't really complain about it. Um, I thought, uh, what's her name? Phoebe Waller's character. She was okay in it. Like, she's nowhere near as bad as a lot of people make her out to be, but not that great of a character at the end. Nowhere near as bad, though, as what a lot of people say, though.